Hello and welcome to How to Play Euchre. It is a famous and also not so famous four person card game because depending on where you go, some people know it, some people do not. It's kind of a Midwest thing. However, it is pretty popular among the four person playing card games. As you can see from the sticky notes here, it is 2v2. You have a teammate that sits across from you, so team one would be here, team two would be here. You use a regular deck of cards, however, you only use 24 of those cards. As you can see, you use six from each suit, nine to ace. The ranking of these cards go exactly as they are laid. Ace is the highest, nine is the lowest. So when playing, a king beats a nine, a queen beats a 10, an ace beats a king. However, where people get really confused is once Trump is called, which I'll explain later, but once Trump is called, the jack of that suit becomes the highest card in the game. And then the jack of the other suit of the same color becomes the second highest card in the game. For example, if clubs is called Trump, the jack of clubs becomes the highest card in the game, meaning it'll be an ace, king, queen, 10, and nine, along with all of these cards. And then, here's the catch, the Jack of Spades becomes a club and is the second highest card in the game. So the Trump Jacks are called the Bowers. Whatever suit is called Trump, that Jack is called the Right Bower. So if clubs is Trump, the Jack of Clubs is the Right Bower. Highest card in the game. It'll beat absolutely everything. The next highest card in the game is the Jack of Spades. It is now a club. So if it's in someone's hand, they have to recognize it as a club. That's where people kind of get confused. So then with this new Trump being called, the new ranking goes Jack of Clubs, Jack of Spades, Ace of Clubs, King of Clubs, Queen of Clubs, 10 and nine. Now here's the other thing. When Trump is called, a nine of clubs beats everything except 10 of clubs and up. A 10 of clubs beats everything except queen and clubs and up. And king, you get the idea. So if an ace is laid and you don't have a diamond, then that club can beat other aces. Now for the jacks, it is only the trump color that they change their position. So when clubs is called, these two jacks stay right where they are. They do not beat the aces of these colors. So let me put these back. If hearts is called Trump, sorry, if hearts is called Trump, the jack of hearts becomes the right bower, the highest card in the game. It'll go up there. And then the Jack of Diamonds becomes the left bower. These two Jacks go right back to where they were in the lineup. They don't beat the aces of these colors. So it's only the same color of the Trump called, Trump color called. So the red Jacks always match up, the black Jacks always match up. All right. Now we're going to shuffle and deal out the cards. The way you deal, you often deal clockwise and you start with dealing to the person to your left and you normally deal the cards out three, two, three, two, two, three, two, three, or in groups of three or groups of two. So the most common way to do it, I want to make sure I shuffle these up really well, otherwise someone's going to get an outstanding hand. So team one is going to deal first, so they're going to deal... Two, three, two, my bad, three, and then everybody needs five cards. So three, two, three, two. This should leave four left over. This is called the kitty. However, you're gonna flip the top one over for everybody to see. And for the demonstration, we are going to play with everybody's hands showing. And I will even organize them for you. It's 
maybe help you understand. Oof. All right, so it's three, two, three, two, flip over top column. Bottom cards are the kitty. They will not be played. Now, when it comes to calling Trump, whoever dealt the cards is the one who will pick this card up. So what happens next is people take their turn. They go around, and the first person to the left of the dealer has the chance to call clubs Trump. If they do, this person who dealt, the dealer, picks that card up and then replaces it with one of these and one of these goes back on top of the kitty and no one else will know. So this person will look at their hand and they'll say, okay, well, I've got two clubs, but I don't have either of the black jacks because those are the two best cards in the game. So they would probably pass. This person on my, my team is going to look at this and say, wow, I don't have any clubs really. I've got one. I've got some hearts. I don't want them to pick them up. I'm going to pass. This person might say, okay, well, I have the jack of clubs and the jack of spades, which if clubs gets called Trump, that becomes a club. So they're going to have to, that's two automatic wins. If he wants this person to pick up, again, it'll go to this person. If they don't, then it comes to the person who dealt to decide if they want to pick it up. So let's just say nobody wants them, nobody says for this guy to pick it up, the dealer to pick it up. So they pass, pass, pass comes back to him, pass. The card would get flipped over, and then the person to the left of the dealer, we would go around again, would get to call Trump based off of the hand they have, except what was flipped over. So a club just got flipped over, so clubs cannot be called Trump. So he would flip it over, he would look at his hand, and if he wants to call something, he can. If not, he'd pass. If he passes, it goes to... Team one, and if they want to call something based off of their hand, they can. If they don't, they pass. And then team two, if they want to call something off of their hand, they can. If they don't, they can pass. And then it falls to team one again, or the dealer. There's two ways to play this. You can play stick the dealer, where they have to call something based off of their hand. Or you can play don't stick the dealer, which in that case, everybody would just throw their cards in and you would reshuffle and deal out again. A lot of the times people play stick to dealer because it takes forever to shuffle again and deal everything back out. So let's say this got flipped over and team one passed and then, or team two passed and then team one calls hearts. So now hearts is Trump. So what happens now is ace is no longer the highest card the Jack of Hearts is the highest card in the game. And then we wouldn't know this person has it, but this Jack of Diamonds becomes the left bower, which makes it a heart. So it is a soft Jack of Hearts. And so now the goal of the game is for the team that called Trump to win at least three of the five tricks. There's five cards in each hand, so there's five tricks. And the goal is to win three if you call Trump. Person left of the dealer would lead, and they would look at their hand, and they'd obviously want to lead with an ace or something because that's the highest card of this suit. Hopefully everybody will have one. You have to follow suit, meaning if you have a diamond, if you have a diamond in your hand and diamond's lead, you have to follow it. So in this case, a club is lead. So if you have a club, you have to play it. And so even though this person called Trump and they could trump it, they can't because they have this. So then this has to get laid. And then team two, since diamonds or since hearts is called Trump, this jack doesn't do anything special. It's below an ace, it's below a king, it's below a queen, but it has to be laid because he has a club. And then team one, the other player has a club and so whoever lays the highest card which would have been team two wins this trick so they have won one of four if you win a trick you get to go again whoever wins the trick leads the next trick so then we would go back to this person who led before 
and they look at their hand and say, okay, well, I don't have good Trump, so I'm not going to lead out with that because that can get trumped really easy by other Trump. This is another high card. So I will lay it. Then it goes to team one. And as you can see, they don't have any spades. If you don't have this suit, you can lay whatever you want in your hand. You can trump it if you have trump. If you want to slough off or just throw something off that's not valuable. Normally you do this when your partner is most likely going to win the trick by playing a good card. You do that. However, this person doesn't want to lay that diamond, a 10 of diamonds, because that doesn't beat this ace. And so what they would do most likely is play a low heart, kind of low heart, to trump it. So even though a king is less than an ace, because trump hearts is trump, this card is higher than this ace. So then it would fall to the other teammate. They have a spade, so they have to lay a spade. And then team one also has, other team one player also has a spade, so they throw it off. So then partner team one, would win that trick it is one to one three more tricks to be played now they can lay whatever they want but he has the highest card in the game and so if you lead out with that next everybody has to, has to play trump and a lot of people will do that as a technique to get rid of a lot of the trump cards in the game the high trump cards and so this person would lay out an automatic win now remember you have to follow suit a lot of people often forget this jack is a heart. So even though it looks like he doesn't have hearts in his hand, he does. So this actually goes right here. However, this is highest card in the game. So then its teammate will lay his trump. And since this person has trump on the other team, they have to lay it. Boom. This person has laid it, and he's also pulled trump from the rest of the field. Now, this ace has become the highest card in the game because both right and left bowers, both red jacks, have been played. So this would come out next, most likely. That could come out, but he would most likely lay that. And if you don't have trump or anything good, you play what your worst card is. And so with this one, the queen is a little bit higher than the jack, and so he would throw that off. Teammate would look at his hand and say, I'm going to keep the ace. And this person would say, this nine isn't worth much. And so team one wins their third trick. And because they've won three tricks out of the five, they get a point. So, I mean, it's, it's last round. He'll throw it out. He got 10, queen, ace, king of spades. So diamonds was led. Ace of diamonds was played by the same teammate. So team one won four tricks. Team two only won one. However, when you normally win one, it is called a stopper because if you were to get five points, if you call Trump and get five of the five tricks, it's two points. If you call Trump and get three or four tricks, that's just one point. If you don't call Trump, so team two called Trump or team one called Trump, if you don't call Trump, but you win three tricks, that is called a Euchre. So when you call Trump, you have to win three, four, or five of the five tricks. If you don't, the other team gets the points. So when you call Trump, you are saying, I believe with the cards I have, and hopefully my partner has good cards because you don't know them that we can win at least three tricks. But if you don't, and say, let's say team two won three out of the five, team one gets euchred, and they don't get any points, but team two gets two points. So if you call Trump and you win three or four, you get one point. If you call Trump and win all five, you get two points. If you don't call Trump and win three or four or five, you get two points. The other way to think, the other way to play it is if you have a really good hand, you have two bowers, an ace, a king, all of the same suit, your, your hand is almost one suit, you can call Trump and then go alone. When you go alone, you get rid of your partner, meaning I will play by myself. If you do that and you win all five tricks, you win four points. It's pretty hard to do. It always depends on if you get a good hand or not. If you call going alone, 
and get euchred, the other team gets two points. Or if you call going alone and you don't get all five, you get three or you get three or four, you still get your one point. So the only thing that changes between going alone and not going alone is if you go alone and get them all, you get four points. If you don't go alone and you get them all, you and your partner, you get two points. So it kind of doubles your points. So after a hand of five tricks has been played, so just like that round, you would put all the cards together and you would shuffle them. And then the person left to the dealer shuffles and deals. So this person dealt the first round. That means this person, the other team, gets to shuffle and then deal. And then they flip over the kitty and then it's their turn to figure out if they want to pick it up or if the other team wants to pick it up. So it, you take turns being the dealer so that each team takes turns figuring out if they were going to pick up points or not, or if they're going to uh, call Trump or not. Normally dealing gives you a little bit of an advantage because it gives you that card on the top that you may want. Um, and so that's why you rotate and take turns every time. The overall goal of the game is to get points, of course. I just explained that. The first team to 10 points total wins. And so you can play multiple rounds. The fastest you can win this is if you went alone three times in a row and won all three of them. So normally you play multiple rounds. Only use 24 cards in the deck. You deal out two, three, two, three, three, two, three, Two should be four left. You flip that over. It's team two, team two's deal. And then we'll flip over the cards again. Normally you don't, but you look at your hand. And then starts all over again since, since this person dealt. Left of the dealer is the first one that gets to call Trump or not, if they want them to pick it up or not. Rearrange these real quick. And so they're not on the same team. He doesn't have a good diamonds hand, so he's not going to tell team two to pick it up. Because if he calls Trump, he's got to win three cards, three, three tricks with this hand. That's not a good hand. He's got the nine of diamonds. That'd be the lowest Trump card. So he would pass. It would go to team two. Looking at team two, he's got two diamonds, potentially three. If he calls diamonds, he has the two highest cards in the game. And then he would know that his teammate has the third highest card in the game. So in this situation, team two player would tell his partner to pick it up. When that happens, this person would pick up this card and get rid of a card in his hand. The goal was to try to get rid of a suit completely. But since that can't happen, you get rid of just a really bad card. So a nine is honestly the worst card in this hand. So now he has two trump. This goes on top of the kitty. Nobody knows what it is. And this person takes their hand and moves. Let's do this. Moves that jack of hearts into the diamonds grouping because that is a diamond. Two highest cards in the game, trump, offsuit. So now, since they dealt, left of the dealer leads out, and it would be played the exact same way. This person would be like, okay, my best card is this, 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 because you have to follow suit. This person does not have a heart, but he does have Trump, and they are not winning it. Boom. Trumps it. And now this person leads, because they win the trick. You keep going like this until all five tricks have been played. And then if you get your points, you know how that happens. And then this person deals out, and then this person, and it just keeps going around. And that is Euchre. You just got to remember the jacks and the scoring, and that's about all to it. Thanks for watching.